All right. Hey, VB Adrenaline followers, uh, welcome back. And we have a special edition of the Transfer Portal uh, tonight and uh, a transfer that made big news over the weekend um, on media, social media, and uh, all the chat boards, I guess, Alex Acevedo, um, former Oregon Duck out of Idaho and the newest member of the Minnesota Golden Gophers. So Alex, thanks for taking time. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and we should tell people, I guess we already had like an hour and a half conversation, so uh, we we know each other, but I appreciate it, and um, taking time, and what was it like, uh, how long was your your transfer process and the recruiting process this time? Yeah, no, it was a pretty crazy process. I got in the portal like a day and a half before it closed, like it was like 4 p.m. on the 13th, my thing went through the morning of the 14th. Um, so everything felt like it was happening at once. So literally within like three days of getting in, I was on a plane to go take a visit. And I did, I did six visits in like two weeks and just, you know, was, you know, go, go, go for two weeks straight, just kind of soaking it all in. Cause I wanted to be very, very thorough, um, with this process. So I really took all my visits. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and that's something we talked about before and I, not sure where we should really start. We want to get to the whole committing to the Gophers and whatnot, but but we talked a lot about about this, and and I tell um, a lot of time when I talk to college coaches or I talk to um, parents of like 2026s now, and I'm like, hey, a big reason why we're doing, I'm doing what we're doing, is education right? To inform prospects so they make a better decision. Because every time I talk to a kid in college or somebody who transfers and I say, hey, would you do it different if you had to do it different? 90 plus, plus, plus percent of the time they say, oh yeah. So you talk about taking your time and really taking the visits. Did you do that the first time? No. So I committed when I was 13 um, to the, yeah, to the first school that was interested in me. And, you know, being from Oregon, um, I was a huge Duck fan, still am. Um, and so I was just over the moon when they wanted to have me. So I just was, you like, did the in. dream, you did the dream school. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so no, to answer your question, I did not do a thorough anything. Yeah, and and not that, and we talked also because I I've, I've been outwardly that I'm a big fan of Coach Ulmer, and they've had great classes, and and you had said that you got along with the staff very well. That wasn't the, the problem. You just change as a person between the time you're 13 and 19. Yeah, yeah, no, I will always um, be super grateful for Oregon and the opportunities they've given me. Um, all love to the coaching staff and the program and my former teammates. Yeah. And so what, what do you think, like, were you feeling, um, because I talked to a names last year, right. And that was big news. I think more so because she decommitted from Nebraska and went to Texas. Right. But I, I thought she put it very eloquently. Listen, I'm a different person now than I was 18 months ago. Yeah. Um, and so were you feeling, because I, I, I can see a lot of 17 year old females being scared to speak up and say, listen, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent like I maybe thought I was as a 16 year old. So did you, were you kind of feeling it even before you went to Oregon or was it when you went there or was it during the season or was it after like, when were you starting to kind of think about like, maybe I'm not in the right spot. Yeah, it had definitely crossed my mind um, a while back, but it was just before I was actually here, I couldn't really have a good reason or anything just yeah. because, you know, I, I had to at least give it a chance. Um, but no, it was definitely kind of hard to come to terms with that this wasn't the place for me just because I had been committed for five years. It's been a long time. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it was kind of hard to come to, come to terms with, but it was for the best. Yeah, absolutely. And and I I thank you for saying that because um I hope a lot of our younger followers and listeners just listen because it's not a bad thing about any school. It's just 
take more than an hour to make your decision, right? And and take the process because the visits are the truly important time. So doing it this time, right? Taking the six visits. And I think you said soaking it all in, um, taking it all in. What what was that like? Yeah, I think a huge part of going on the visits is talking to the girls and the team. Because, you know, all, every program can tell you things, but you got to really do your research and dig around and just see how see the see the vibe <laughs> yeah so you, you really gotta um just kind of like i said soak it all in and just really get a feel for each place and and do you want to talk i mean do you want to talk about other schools we know one because it's all over social media but <laughs> you want to talk about the other schools that that you went to and kind of looked at yeah no every school um i went to i had an amazing time so i'll just go in order um, first I went to USD San Diego, um, Jen Petrie, amazing, amazing coach. Um, I did get to see pretty much the whole team, whole team was there. So that was a good time. And then second, I went to Arizona state. Um, I, I had a good time there as well. Um, they had just gotten, no, they were just preparing for their foreign trip. So I got to watch a practice. Um, that was, that was good. And then after that, I went straight from there to Pepperdine. Um, that was a really, really fun visit. I was there for like two and a half days. It was wow. it was a good time. Yeah. Um, Scott and Hillary are awesome. And then after Pepperdine, I went, where did I go? Oh, I went to Baylor. Yeah, I went to Baylor. Um, that was, so at this point, I had been kind of on the West Coast, and then I was like, you know, going to Texas and then to the Midwest. So I did like a little little country yeah. tour. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that that was a good one too. I mean, like I said, I didn't have a single bad experience. It was it was really hard to um, decide, yeah. which I mean is a good thing. Um, and then after Baylor, I did Minnesota, then Wisconsin. So what you probably decided was the probably the big factor was you probably just really didn't enjoy that weather in San Diego compared to Minneapolis. Right. That was it. That was the deciding factor. Yeah, just, <laughs> I get it. It's nice weather in San Diego, but Minneapolis. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't compare. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Minneapolis okay. was totally playing with me. The first day I was there, it was, it was so nice. And the second day it was like raining all day. <laughs> well, you know, what they say about Minneapolis and Madison, Wisconsin, perfect weather. Isn't that the exactly. best weather in the United States? <laughs> That's what they're known for. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I'll call you in January. But uh, they, uh, uh, no. So you go up there, and um, when it comes down to last year, so you go to you go to Minneapolis, right? Mm -hmm. And and then you end. I think it was over the weekend, um, following the social media trail. Um, you end at, at, at Wisconsin, and um, they. At least uh, according to their social media people, they, they felt pretty confident that that they had you and um, you did some activities with their team. So what? That's my thing, but that's that's what I think more volleyball recruits need to experience, yeah. right? I mean, because that looked like you were enjoying that vibe, being a part of that team. That I think recruits from all other sports get to do that. And experience that at multiple places. Um, and, and you probably got to do that more at Wisconsin because you said there weren't a ton of your teammates around in Minneapolis at Minnesota. Yeah. Um, no, I had a great time with the Wisconsin girls. I mean, that was a great visit, no doubt about it. But I just kind of try and stay off of the whole Twitter thing because, I mean, people can look and say what they want. But, I mean, they're not on the visit with me. Yeah. So. Um, life choice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no um they minnesota had i think a little bit of time off because they had just got back from the foreign trip too so i only got to see the the local girls that could make the trip down yeah Alex, that's what i was saying yeah i think you did this completely backwards didn't you like you're supposed to commit before the foreign trip yeah um oops <laughs> yeah you'll get another one before you go but so so talk about now with, with the deciding factor and, and like i said we've talked about this before but tell tell the listeners because one of the first things you said without me prompting you was keegan's culture and i have heard that 
in the last year, 15 months, I have heard that unprompted 20 times, I bet. So tell me what you told me and why that was so important. Yeah, I think Keegan is just doing great things for the program. And I think that he upholds everyone to the values always. And it's not, culture is not just a word that he says to kind of, you know, sound like everyone can say, oh, this is our culture, this is our culture. But is it really, you know? So I think that he always refers back to his pillars and his values for everything he does, just to kind of keep a a level of consistency for what the program values. And I really like that. Well, and you and I also talked about, because I, I talk to kids or young athletes on the other end, right? And I say to them, what's it, what's, what are you looking for? And they all say a culture that's for me. And, and I said, well, you know, every coach is going to say our culture. So how do you decide that? Now you've been through it. And I ask you, and you told me, yes, of course, every coach is going to, you remember saying that, yeah. right? So go through that again. I mean, every coach is a good culture, but you, like, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I took six visits. You, really you got to get a feel for it yourself. Um, so I think that's definitely one of the things that, I mean, there's not really one specific thing that I was like, oh, this is for me, this is for me, but you just got to, you got to see if it's the right fit. You talked about he gave you, did you say coach gave you something yeah. and, and that was different? Yeah, he gave me um, a document. This is actually on our very first phone call the day I got in the portal. Um, he sent me a document of kind of the values and pillars that he holds everyone to. And he's like, you know, just I'm not going to go through them with you, but I want you to take a look at these and just really think about if this is um, for you. And so that night it was like, it was like 10 30. I'm like to do scrolling in bed. And I'm like, wow, like these really are um, fitting for, I think what I want. So I think that was, that was really awesome to see. And, and, and I talk about my dealings have been more with, with Kristen, you know, coach Kelsey. And I, I mean, people, you know, uh, will tell me, you know, whatever you play favorites. And I say, yeah, you're absolutely right. I play favorites. People that are decent to me, respectful to me, friendly to me. Um, yeah, I probably uh, do play favorites with them. And she checks all those boxes. Um, talk about relationship maybe with her um, and what you've heard from other players as you talked about checking. What are the other players in that program saying now a year later after the staff's taken over? Yeah, um, honestly, I haven't really talked to anyone about the previous staff, but I've only heard good things about this staff. Um, I obviously really enjoy Kristen, and I think she's amazing, and I've only heard similar things about her from the players, so I'm excited to get working with her. And what about what do players say about the direction, maybe, of the team? Because I don't know, I I'm not a huge college volleyball history fan, but – golden goal for fans. It, it was an up and down year last year. Right. Um, I, and there were growing pains in the program. Um, but a couple people I talked to around college volleyball just said there were, it felt like there was a new energy and a lot of energy in the program this spring. Like you could yeah. tell it was year two. Did you sense that in talking to some players or what's the vibe you got from from the team and the direction and what you're joining? Yeah, no, I got great vibes from the team. Um, obviously, I can't speak to what it was like last year, but just kind of speaking to everyone about um, what's to come, they seem really enthusiastic and I guess just confident about the the season. Yeah, and you, I mean, have you thought about it, like what you're stepping into? The Big Ten is not an easy place just to step in and win win matches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. That's kind of why I did it. Yeah. Well, and I mean, the other thing too with uh, with joining, it's not easier with, you know, Oregon, USC, UCLA joining. It's going to get, uh, you know, even tougher. It's definitely going to be the best, continue to be the best uh, conference uh, in volleyball. Um, what about, you know, with the red shirt, you have four years um, and, you know, really going to be one of the cornerstones of this new regime. Um, and have you thought about that at all, really taking on any kind of a leadership role? Is it too soon for that? 
but you know, having four years, it's like you're one of their first recruits. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, never say no to any type of leadership role. I mean, that's definitely something that I'm looking to do. But yeah, no, I'm just really excited that I get four years with this program. And I think it's going to be a great four years. <laughs> that's perfect. Well, you're going to uh, you're going to enjoy it. I thank you uh, for your time. I, I, I really uh, thank you for the, the wisdom just for recruits, um, not only for yourself, but just what you shared um, and reiterated in in a positive way, Alex. And uh, when do you? Because uh, you're still in uh, you're still in uh, Eugene doing the quarter system. You said mm-hmm. so. Yeah. When when will you get to Minneapolis? Um, I don't have an exact date yet, but my last final here is the 14th, so soon after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. There's probably not a lot of a lot of downtime, and they'll uh, you'll switch your colors real fast and start training with the mm-hmm. Gophers and. We're, uh, we're excited to see you in the fall, um, in the Big Ten, in the maroon and gold. And um, you're going to have to um, look up a Juicy Lucy. Okay. okay. <laughs> yep, go look it up, Juicy Lucy. And you're going to have to research where the best place in downtown Minneapolis is. All right. So that is what they're known for. I will. Uh, I so, will. <laughs> look that up. You're ready for Dinky Town. And uh, we're, we're excited to watch you. And great to meet you. Good luck in the Big Ten and good luck at your new school. Thank you so much. Yeah, great <laughs> go, to go meet first. you, Alex. Look here. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> All right. Sky Yuma, too. Sky Yuma.